so welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing really well and having a lovely wednesday today's video is going to be a step-by-step -step makeup tutorial of how you can achieve the makeup and hair from the new bounce back video from little mix this is the picture that we're going to be working with here this is what perry is wearing in the video i really like this look it definitely gives off a lot of 80s vibes with like the blue eyeliner and then the yellow and the pink like the pink and the crease and the yellow so in terms of the hair this is what my take is it's just a high ponytail with a pearl scrunchie on top perry had like super long hair because i have a feeling she had a ponytail extension and then i've just done a variation of it just using my normal length hair anyway with that being said let's get right into this video okay the first step that i am going to be doing is the hair so to achieve perry's hair from in the video i am just taking my hair and tying it into a high tight ponytail before that i actually brushed it to make sure everything was nice and sleek if you're unable to grab it all in your hand you can just tip your head upside down Feel free to tie it round as many times as you want until it's tight or however many times that the bobble will allow you to. In the visual, it looks like Perry is wearing a pearl strand wrapped around the base of the bobble, but because I don't own any of those, anything like that, I just took this really nice pearl scrunchy base to bobble topper and just placed it on top of the bobble and then that is your hair all done. In the video it looked like she had some stiff on pearls but because I don't have any of those and I didn't want to be doing it I just decided to leave that out but that is totally optional if you want to achieve the full hair look. And there you go that is my hair for bounce back all done. Moving on to the makeup I'd already done my base and my bronzer off camera because you guys have seen it too many times before. For blush that I'm using one of the LMX highlight. It's actually a highlighter, but I thought I would use it as a blush because it is a nice pinky tone that can be used as a blush also. And I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks to keep everything nice and natural because Perry is similar skin tone to me and she's quite cool toned. With a concealer, I'm just using a as an eye primer just to prepare for my eyelids to do the shadow. The first step I'm doing is the eyeliner face. Now, weirdly enough, I don't normally do eyeliner face, but I thought I would do that just to sketch out what we'll be doing because this is a more complex makeup look. The liner I am using is the MYX Off Tropic Pro Liner. This is in the colour Rainstorm. This is actually a royal blue and it was a little bit too dark a colour for the one that Perry had got on, but later on I will be taking a matte white or cream eyeshadow and I'm just going to be tracing that along the lash line to make it more of a sky blue colour. I did have another shade in this one, I believe it's called Poor Boy, but that is more of a green tone. And then using a small eyeshadow brush, I'm just using the shade Fairy Light from my Soap and Glory Essential Lid Palette, and I'm just going to be tracing that on to make it more of a lighter blue. Continuing on underneath the eyeline, my waterline, I'm just taking the blue eyeliner just to trace along my waterline and to connect up to create the wing. And then I will be using the white eyeliner again just to make it the same shade as it is on my top lash line. If you want a more precise point, feel free to sharpen up the eyeliner using a car gel sharpener. I just accidentally did two flicks there but we're just going to use that and wipe that off and there you go, that is the flick done. And of course you can make your flick as long or as short as you want. Going back in with a little bit more of that eyeshadow and then we are going to move on to the main part of the eyeshadow which I think looks absolutely fantastic and definitely screams 80s and 90s. This look is a run that I've wanted to be doing for ages and I thought today was finally the day to show you guys because it's not something I normally do and because it's based on dolls like the Barbie and Cindy dolls I thought I would do it in conjunction with the Barbie visual that I had just done. Moving on to the eyeshadow I'm just taking the yellow from the NYS Bright palette, I believe this is called Canary and I'm just applying this all over my lid using a pencil brush. And then just using a thicker pencil brush, I'm just taking a pink colour, which I believe is called Love Grace, and I'm just applying this through my crease. This will only be a thin layer of pink, so don't worry about it being too much because you can always just blend it out and add more yellow if need be. Once I'm finished with that, I'm going to go on to a flick of mascara and you guys know which one it is. I don't even need to give you that because I'm just showing you the tube right there. And if you are a regular to my channel, you can definitely guess which one I have been using. You can also use blue mascara, which is what Perry has got on, but the royal blue mascara doesn't really go with the colour of my eyes. So I'm just using the traditional black. Finally, I am finishing off the look with this lipstick. This is one of the Kiko Hydrating Blossom Beauty ones in the shade 02. 
And there you go guys, that is my makeup all done. Okay guys, so here is the finished look, which I think looks so, so cool. It definitely gives off an 80s vibe. It does resemble the Whitney one that she wore from I Wanna Dance With Somebody. I might do a tutorial on that soon. I am thinking about doing tutorials for the other Little Mix Bounce Back doll makeup tutorials since we are in the recruitment theme of Barbie because my last video that I did was the Margot Robbie makeup look that she wore for the Barbie film. So here is what the Perry one looks like. I do plan to do it on the other, the other three over the coming weeks so keep your eyes peeled for that. I absolutely love this and the hair makeup. I believe that celebrity music videos and film makeup tutorials have become my favourite thing because it sees me mess around with makeup I don't normally do and it sees me have fun with a lot of different hairstyles. Anyway that is it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed me putting together this look. Keep your eyes peeled for the rest of the bounce back doll makeup looks in the coming days because I am looking forward to doing a lot more of these because they look like a lot of fun. Hit the bell down below, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all very soon for another video.